Hi, this is Greg with the Press. We're here with Kish, the uh, new CEO of uh, Mount Diablo Recycling. And Kish, this is a pretty amazing piece of equipment that yeah. we just had a tour of. Tell us a little quick about what, what we're looking at. Here. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Yeah, in short, what we've done here is we've completely overhauled our recycling processing machine and operation. We've installed the latest and greatest. This is truly state-of-the-art technology for recycling processing. And basically, in short, what it does is it takes the material in sends it over a series of conveyors and screens, and then optical sorters, which are computer, uh, almost artificial intelligence-aided machinery that can spot the different commodities and make sure that they're identified and sorted properly. What all that means is, this is a big pile of material that's all commingled recyclables. The key for us is to take it and to be able to separate it out so that it's paper, so that it's plastic, so that it's metal, so that it's glass. The better that you can separate those commodities into individual bales of that pure material, the more marketable it is, both domestically and internationally, so that two things happen. One, we maximize the recyclability so that we're maximizing the environmental impact. And two, we're maximizing the financial impact, the value of these commodities, so that we're doing our best job for the rate payer financially as well. Highest commodity, but surprisingly enough, this year, HDB Natural has a CRV value that's not near what the aluminum is, but combined, it was worth more than an aluminum bale of cans. Never seen that. So what we built here is a state-of-the-art recycling operation that we believe is the best one in the region. Her, you know, the foam, because this is floating up screens, it's supposed to take paper out, and this will end up over. So we're, again, QC and here, quality control, getting this out. You can see a bunch more here. You can get a, a 327 package. We have a really hard time finding homes for this. So we have to pull that because nothing could be in this paper. There's a PET bottle that the machine missed. We'll pick it out. Great question earlier. He wanted to know where all the shoots go down below. Those are for all different kinds of commodities. You'll see these are all labeled on the back side with magnets of what we put in there. So you want to be PET, you want to be residual, residual of garbage, or other commodities that we get a lot of through here so we pick out before it goes to the baler. Once this material gets out of here, it goes to the baler, it gets put into a like a hay bale, you'll see them walking out and uh, gets on that into a hay bale, and then we ship them out in sea containers or wherever we can sell them. So you're doing the sorting here. What can the consumer do at their house yeah. to make the job easier or to not? But you mentioned the word earlier, contaminate. Yeah, hundred percent. That you know the the folks out there at home, and we know this can be confusing. There's a ton of resources on mdrr.com, our website, mdrr.com, where we try to provide tons of resources. But quite simply, I like to say the most recyclable materials that are out there are bottles cans, newspaper, and cardboard. If you really concentrate on those materials, those are always going to be recyclable. There are other things that are, but the problem is, is that you can get too many contaminants, you can get too many things that really aren't recyclable or that are very difficult to recycle. So if you kind of go back to basics and concentrate on bottles, cans, newspaper, and cardboard, if that's most of what you're putting in that blue can, I can just about guarantee I'm going to recycle it. Last question, you made that comment about your milk jugs, like the yogurt thing. Uh -huh. Is it important to rinse them out? It always helps, there's no question. that The more that we can get food out of that material, the cleaner that it is, the likelier that we're able to sort it into a recycled piece, or into a recyclable commodity. Awesome, thank you very much for your time. You have an amazing facility, and this is Greg from thepress.net. Thank you.